hello everyone welcome to kumari's kids channel today's story is going to be aladdin the desert race jasmine and aladdin were strolling across the palace grounds one evening when the sul sultan ran out onto the balcony dread the sultan cried oh dread 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 that dreaded desert race Jasmine was surprised was surprised usually her father loved the desert race every year the best riders from Agrabah competed against those of the neighboring kingdom of Sagraba the fastest horse and the rider were awarded the prize golden palm trophy What's the matter? Father Jasmine asked. The sultan shook his head sadly. I just heard that prince Faiz will be riding for Zagraba again. His horse is so fast. He's won the race that last 3 years in a row I have an idea father Jasmine said eagerly I could ride midnight in the desert race this year His father the fastest horse in Agraba oh dear me no the sultan looked shocked at the very suggestion the desert race can be dangerous i won't have my daughter risking her neck like that how about if i ride midnight in the race aladdin spoke up the sultan's face brightened immediately what a splendid idea he cried you'll have such fun my boy The next day Aladdin and Jasmine went to the stables as soon as Aladdin was on midnight the horse threw him nobody but Jasmine had ever ridden him let me help you said the princess midnight gave her no trouble as usual The horse was ready to go Aladdin sung onto Midnight's back but the horse still didn't want to cooperate he kicked up his heels and sent Aladdin flying Aladdin brushed himself off Here let me try Jasmine said she easily climb onto saddle Midnight happily carried her round the stable yard doing everything she asked. Sorry Jasmine told Aladdin, I guess Midnight is a one person horse. Now how are we supposed to win that trophy back? The Sultan asked. Let me ride in the race, Father Jasmine urged. The sultan didn't seem to hear her perhaps we can find Aladdin another fast horse he didn't look hopeful though don't worry Aladdin said i will think of something the day of the race arrived riders from zagraba paraded into agraba faiz rode in on his impressive white stallion desert warrior I don't know why we bothered to bring the golden palm trophy. Faiz announced hot hotly, "We will only have to carry it back to Zagraba later." Fans from both kingdom gathered to the to watch the race. Soon the riders took their places at the starting line. 
The sultan looked at Aladdin. What an odd looking horse that boy is riding. I wonder why I have never seen it before. But he didn't have time to worry about what that Now, where is Jasmine? He wondered. It's time to start the race. The princess was nowhere to be found. We can't wait any longer. I suppose the Sultan raised the flag to signal the start of the race. One, two, three, and they are off. The riders galloped into the desert. A black horse with a mysterious wheeled rider took the lead ride away. As soon as they were out of the of view of the palace, the rider threw off the veil. It was Jasmine. I do hate going against father, father's wishes. She whispered to midnight. She, but I just had to prove that you were the fastest. Aladdin was curious about the rider on the black horse. Jasmine, he gasped when he saw her. Just then his horse spotted the cool, inviting water of an oasis. Now that's more like it, exclaimed the horse, except the horse was actually the genie. He jumped into the water and took the shape of a seahorse. Hey, this wasn't part of the plan, Aladdin cried. Don't worry, all the genie said. You'll catch up. Gotta stay hydrated, you know. Oh, on land, Jasmine and Midnight galloped off without a backward glance. Praise and desert warrior were starting to catch up the catch up. They were shocked when they saw the princess. Faze didn't want to lose to her. Jasmine urged midnight on, but the other horses were very fast. Finally desert warrior pulled ahead. Give up now, Faze shouted. That trophy will always belong to Zagraba. But Midnight wasn't finished yet. He surged forward again and passed Desert Warrior. Not, not so fast, Jasmine called to Faiz with a laugh. That trophy is in Agraba and that's where it is going to stay. Faiz and warriors stayed on midnight's hill until the horses had to jump a ditch that crossed the path. Midnight sailed over easily, but warriors skidded to a stop. With the other team out of running, it seemed there, there was nothing to keep Jasmine at midnight from winning. But then the princess heard the sound of Hoof beats close behind her. What? She cried, looking back. It was Aladdin. Jasmine hadn't even known he was still in the race. Soon, Aladdin and his mystery horse had caught up, and Jasmine and he and Jasmine were fighting for the lead. Jasmine was glad that Trophy would stay in Agraba no matter <clears throat> no matter which one of them won. But she really wanted to prove that Midnight was the fastest horse in the two kingdoms. She urged him on. The two horses were neck 
and neck as they neared the finish line. First midnight pulled the head a tiny bit, then Aladdin's horse did, but neither could keep the lead, and so the two horses crossed the finish line at the same time. As soon as midnight show slowed to a stop, Jasmine jumped off, gave her t- tied horse a hug, and led him to the water through. Then she walked over to Aladdin. Congratulations, he, he said. Same to you, Jasmine replied, but where in the world did you find such a fast horse? Uh, Aladdin looked at the at his horse, then he looked at his feet. Mm, that is, he didn't seem to know what to say. Surprise! the genie cried, transforming back into his usual form. Jasmine guessed. Genie, that was you! Sorry, princess, the genie said, winking. We were just horsing around. Aladdin grinned sheepishly. It was my idea. I couldn't bear that the thought of Zagraba winning again this year. Oh dear, the sultan said, the rules state that it must be a horse and a rider team, not a genie and rider team. I'm afraid this disqualifies you two from the race. Then he smiled, and that means Jasmine and Midnight are the winners. Jasmine changed into a new outfit. And at that, at the award ceremony, she patted Midnight. Jasmine had always known her horse was fast, but she'd never imagined he could beat a genie. Okay, this is the end of genie um, story. Okay. This is the end of Aladdin's story. I will see you guys in the next storytelling. Bye.